Ooh, multiple choice and love it so much. I do all the work in my brain where you get to use the calculator between your ears. The two questions below refer to the following information. A student analyzes a compound and determines it is found to contain 54.5% carbon, 9.1% hydrogen, 36.4% oxygen. First thing we're asked to determine, what is the empirical formula of the compound? Again, remember empirical formula, smallest whole number ratio of moles. Let's do this. Assume 100 grams. Now, we could assume any mass we want, but especially because we aren't using our calculator here, 100 is a pretty good number to work with because what is 54.5% of 100? You guessed it, 54.5 grams. That's for carbon. 9.1% of 100 grams, 9.1 grams. 36.4% of 100 grams, 36.4 grams oxygen. Let's convert these all to moles. All right, now in each conversion, I'm using an estimated molar mass because I don't have a calculator to use. Okay, we've got 54.5 grams. How many times does 12 go into that? 12 times one is 12, times two is 24, times three is 36, times four is 48, times five would be 60, that'd be too far. <laughs> 4.5 moles, not tricky enough for me. 9.1, easy enough, times one divided by one, 9.1 moles. And then for our last one here, 16, how many times does that go into 36? 16 times two would be 32. And we need four more grams. Four is a quarter of 16, so we've got 2.25 moles of oxygen. Again, these are all estimates, roughing it. All right, we're gonna compare by dividing by the smallest amount. When we do that, 2.25 goes into 4.5 two times. 2.25 goes into 9.1 about four times. 0.25 goes into 2.25 one time. So again, we convert to moles, compare the mole mounts to come up with our molar ratio for the elements in the compound. It's gonna be C2H4O. Answer choice, A. Boom. You know, this is a two-part question. The College Board now really likes to give you a set of data or information and ask you several multiple choice questions about it. So let's tackle this next beast. It says the molar mass of the compound is 88.1 grams per mole. What is the molecular formula of the compound? All right, well, let's take a look at our empirical formula, C2H4O. Let's come up with the molar mass of this sucker here. Two carbons, about 24. Four hydrogens, about four grams. One oxygen, one mole of oxygen, about 16 grams. Add those together, 16 plus 4 plus 24 equals about 44 grams per mole. Let's determine our multiplier here. If the molecular formula has a molar mass of 88.1 grams per mole, and the empirical formula has a molar mass of about 44 grams per mole, who needs a calculator? Not me. The molecular formula is gonna be two times the molar mass of the empirical formula. So we just need to double all of the subscripts in our empirical formula to get us to C4H8O2. Boom, answer choice A again. And we are done.